Hey everybody, welcome to the video. So, in this video I wanted to talk about what is the greatest success. And I know what it is. It's the grandest feeling there is. And that, my friends, is, as you know and as, you have, as have you glimpsed it, and many times, it is love. There. Live every moment, laugh every day, and love beyond words. So guys, there are truly many for different forms of success. And really, success is just an English word. And it donates what different people classify as success for them. So you might have success for you in a million different ways, and so do we all. So we don't need to go say to other people, that's not success, this is. Or anything like that, okay? But I want to say that the grandest feeling there is, is love. And the deepest feelings that epitomize love is tenderness of the heart, sensitivity of the spirit, sensitivity of the heart, and care, compassion, sensitivity as I already said, caring for another person, having compassion for someone's hurt, loving someone, caring, appreciating, heart, awakening of the heart. So today I talked to my friend, beautiful man, Tyg, and he was telling me and even my friend Minda, they went to see, get an ayahuasca ceremony, an ayahuasca at the weekend, okay, the spiritual plant that helps heal. And he said he feels so much more love for his mother. It's helping to heal his, his family relations with him, him and his family, and opening up his heart. And even, I just, I just talking to him on the phone, and even my friend Minda also, the two of them today, Especially even Minda's messages, you just sense and Ty's words and Minda too. More tenderness of the heart, sensitivity of the heart. And for me, the greatest feeling is all of these things love, care, softness, spirit, tenderness of the heart, care, of kindness. It just, you know, it's the best thing there is in the world. It's like feeling connected and love with life and love with people, especially in love with people. Part of the whole, part of the community, looking out for people, interested in people supporting people, etc. So, that's all I wanted to say really guys. So, so, so some t how to do this, okay, like the biggest way to become more connected with your heart, and that also includes forgiveness too, the way, the best thing of enlightenment is your heart, the way, the spirit, the heart, the heart center. You know, Jesus with the depiction of the heart. So, there's loads of success in life, such as like money, like maybe fame or fortune, um, riches, business, being a success in business, achieving your goals. And they can all be sort of like a degree of fun and excitement and satisfaction. But a much deeper, much deeper thing, generally speaking, but I don't want to put them other things down because they have their place and I want them and I agree with them and I, I support them. I just think the heart is deeper, like it's a it, more deeper thing in a way. So you can do that right now, whether or not you're running your own business or projects. But creativity is full of joy too, you know, like accomplishing your like goals or settings, things you set out for. So it is good to have joy and uh, think. Are you coming in, Sally? No. So yeah, it's good to mix like all sorts of things in life, you know, like business if you feel like it, like working for people. And, but do them in a sense of like joy and enjoyment and fun. But if you also mix it with your heart, like you just be on a winner and you might resonate with either staying there and making your work so much more like sort of enlightened in a way, like light filled and lighter and happier and jo jovial and jocular and jubilant. Or you might really have a, a resonation and an intention and an inspiration to leave and to do something which is much more productive and supportive and encouraging to your 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 newer vibration, your uplifted vibration. So yeah, appreciation, all those things. But uh, yeah, so aim to open your heart. Think, think and work at forgiven, forgiveness. Um, no things happen for a reason to help us to grow, including life contracts where people like hurt one another, or there's a car accident, or you lose your your um, bodily health or whatever. That's like what happened to me, and it taught me all the best things in life. It changed my journey uh, incrementally, like, or should I say rapidly, <laughs> but incrementally too over years. So, so in a way you can give thanks and understand uh, to people and yourself where you've helped play a real big role in other people's lives and just use everything for growth. 
but um, try and understand where people are coming from if you want more compassion which is like integral to love um, look, compassion and care is what love is basically speaking and try to be more thoughtful of people because when you think about people more instead of yourself which is the typical way of the human being at the past time period gone by before the golden age or the, the new shift we're in now yeah, so start thinking more of people and becoming more interested and for them instead of just being in your own little like sort of world. Think about them like being like children or parents. Um, they're all loved, they're guided, they're on their journey, respect other people's journey. Um, care for others that you don't want them to be hurting or in pain or suffering, especially at your hands, and do the best you can to bring as much lightness, love and healing and life to other people instead of hurt, pain, suffering or trauma, you know, arguments or conflict or heaviness. So it's about being more conscious and aware and then um, intend it, want it, deeply passionately want it and then reach out and act on your loving feelings and don't be afraid to share your loving feelings of word and action. Your life will be so much more better. You'll you'll just be thriving guys. Like there's nothing better than the heart feelings. Like they're the biggest, strongest feelings on electromagnetic frequencies <laughs> in the world. So we're all unique so have a, have a nice day um, crystals like and even rose quartz can help with the, our chakras and our heart chakra stuff like that and um, yeah you can do it you can choose it now right now you know you, you have the power of choice and your power of choice is astronomically powerful so choose now I want to let go of what was holding me back I want to let go of the past what was like, not nice now is a new day now is a new moment I want to be like this now I want to be much more compassionate choose intend deliberate yourself into this frequency and say and i've changed i'm like this now and then you can live there much much more and in any moment you can make this choice it's almost like in the moment you're feeling bad you say oh i choose to make feel much better emotionally and in a sense even though some of the time there's certain ways you can't just suddenly get rid of like feeling really annoyed or frustrated but you can really increase it a lot the, 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 the lightness load or level so the powerful determined confident knowing way you have a choice can really work and it does work so all right guys so that's all i wanted to say so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope it helped and sending you positive wishes of your own personal growth in life and the greatest feelings of joy, love, compassion, and care in your heart towards other people and all beings in the world, okay? Okay, see ya. Take care. Bye. Lots of love. Owen. Oh,